ันเต้นเต้นอุสอันเต้แม้ไม่ได้ทักนักเขียนเสียงเลยคุณไม่ได้เล่นเล่นคุณไม่ได้เล่นเล่น Hola Hobito They like when I roll up with my people Hello everyone Welcome back to the channel If you like the channel please like comment and subscribe Today we are making cookies You're not healthy I never helped when y'all made my cookies. Yours. Yup. Who loves chocolate chip cookies? Wow. Evan loves chocolate chip cookies. I do, I do, I do. Ooh. Ooh more rice. <laughs> well, you I'm sweet. Now, why did you spoon the other one? Oh my gosh. I wanted to do it for the sake of We'll take back in later. Oh, go ahead, I'm sorry, Brittany. I might not make it to the gym. Hey, I like, I like how y'all like. Y'all focus on fruit. Like, y'all ask for fruit, but y'all won't ask for the chips. Yeah, y'all don't. I find they that They ask funny. for fruit, but we'll just go sneak and get the chips. And Oreo. <laughs> I'm still mad y'all had Oreos when I was at home. Are you bad at eating Oreos? I didn't have any, Me? so don't feel bad. Yeah, I definitely They had, no, they had nut of butter, chips ahoy, and Oreo. Like, I had one Oreo. No, it's still, it's, it's looking good. Yeah. I had one Oreo, right? Boy, look at my fine ass wife. Boy, my wife Her fine. My wife fine. If y'all just knew why is your, why is your the thing that, that I, I don't do. do. Oh, you lying. <laughs> you don't help. <laughs> Girl, oh, why are you going your breath in the bowl? I was about to eat. <laughs> Hit it with that stick of butter now. Nah. Hit it with that stick of butter now. Nah. It's actually two sticks. Hit it with the pop. With the, with the uh, Yes, good morning, YouTube family. And this morning, we are making the kids' first summer breakfast. Well, it's actually going to be a father son breakfast because Aniva is going out to breakfast with one of our good friends. So, this morning, we are making father son breakfast because me and Jay are going to make breakfast and then we're going to watch one of the Fast and Furious movies, which he did not tell me which one we we're going to watch. And please excuse my voice. I am dealing with allergies because of my congestion and because of my need to not wash things off before I use them. But yeah, other than that, all is clear in the Wilson household. I hope all of you are doing as fantastic as we are. So key to success. Oh no. Oh yeah, we did. Key to success with eggs is I put some turmeric in there, brighten out that color. If y'all watch that that YouTube or Netflix show, you know what I'm talking about. I use cracked pepper and pink Himalayan sea salt. Cause if you know me by now. You know I am always talking about something healthy. Get that good old fork in there. Beat that egg. Beat that egg like it owes your money. Actually, hmm. I don't think I really need this skillet, but I have it out already, so I'm gonna use it. Put some water in our batch. So I would show y'all my secret ingredient to good pancakes, but I don't think y'all ready for all that. But just know that I make the best pancakes in the world. In the world. So we got cake. And then we're going to mix it up. Put 
but we do our pancakes the regular way, not the Aki way around here. Like that decent, thick consistency right there. Yeah. And then, gotta get these griddles on. Get these griddles on. Get these griddles on. medium high heat I feel like I should have like my own little like makeshift cooking show like hey if I gave you three eggs two slices of cheese a rutabaga I need you to make me a steak people like what a steak Man, yeah I'll make you a steak out of that rutabaga with a stick of butter now. I finally showed a neighbor that the dude on TikTok. The uh, Cajun cook master. Whatever he calls himself. I actually don't know what he calls himself. But I showed her his uh, TikTok. So that is like, that's the one thing in the house now. If y'all seen, I seen the video of Gordon Ramsay making uh, scrambled eggs, and I'm starting to believe that he's just like trolling people right now. This is not making sense because he makes his eggs in a pot. And you know, I'm all for like what that man do, but he was he was naming off some things in that video that I just didn't concur with. I'm starting to think that he's just telling us that. Just because he knows that he's Gordon Ramsay and we probably don't believe him. So I'm starting to get that good bubble. And now, ooh, ooh, ooh. That's how I know. It's about that time. Almost.
my jacks. Flat my jacks. Mm. That sounds better. Gotta flat my jacks.
Leave, I blame you. Anyway, I'm just fucking myself up right now. Delete that footage. talking to y'all and let y'all know that him and Jay had breakfast together. Um, so he cooked for them, but I'm meeting up with one of our friends from one of our past duty stations and I have Mariah with me. She um, is in the bathroom right now. But yeah, we're at this new place. Never been here before. It's actually, it looks pretty neat. It's called Slews. Um, so yeah, you can see behind me. And then it's like a really nice little area. Oops, sorry. Thank you. Are you waiting on one more? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so there's my little breakfast buddy. Her allergies are kicking her butt right now. But um, anyway, when I'm leaving, I'll try to show y'all a little bit more what it looks like. But it's actually really nice. And um, so if y'all know the Pearl area, I think it's kind of similar to that. But anyway, we're gonna look at the menu and figure out what we want to eat. Hey y'all, back. Mariah and I are back from breakfast, and so now we're about to pop this bottle of champagne. Popping a bottle of champagne in honor of me completing my course because. Yeah, I hadn't been drinking, so I wanted to wait till the weekend to get the party started. So now I'm waiting on Evan to come do his thing with the mimosas. Yeah. We always get some bear layer champagne. It's a tradition in the Dixon household. So pop a bottle of champagne after <laughs> we accomplish something. And there's one more left. Yeah. Wait, no, one more thing. Correctly 
And when we hit our 500 sweeties, it's going to be something else. Pour a little bit of grandma. Yeah. Doop, doop, doop. You and your sound effects. Because I have good intentions. <laughs> Who said boo? You. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to say Ooh, that's Dash looking like, let me back up before he throw something over here. Alright, so let me just pull it out. Is it just gonna pull out? Yeah. Is it just gonna pull out? Yeah. yeah. Pull out about as good as I would. As y'all can tell, I ain't the champagne opener. Twist and pull. Twist and pull, son. My arm still hurt. Scuttle in the bottle or twop. What? <laughs> you better pace yourself. All right, y'all. I just want to say cheers to you, my love, for <laughs> doing so great, for allowing me to maintain your two human beings <laughs> and your two canine specimens. You made us proud. You are beautiful. What? You is kind. <laughs> 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 anyway, all right, we're about to go get started on our binge watching marathon, whatever. Binge watching. About to go watch some tube. We'll catch y'all. That thing is firm, ain't it? It is, it is actually. Wow. You didn't feel it the other night when I did this world. Oh, God. Anyway, if y'all are trying to get your summer bodies right, you need to go check out PPT P -P -T in San Antonio. San Antonio. Like, bro, I'm sore. We'll put the details in there. Sore, sore, sore. But I'm trying to get it right hot for summer. You know, Shout out to our boy, key. Coach Jacob. All right, now we just. Girl, take a sip. I you did. Made, you did you know? mix it. No, you didn't. I want to go mango. Yeah, because you wanted to take a sweet. I start to cut up a peach and put it in here. I was going to take some apples. I think I got a little bit of pineapple still frozen in there too. Okay, so we had to come back real quick because we about to prep our brisket for tomorrow. Oh! <laughs> so um we are going to try and get that bucky's tender brisket okay so in here i watched a couple of youtube videos <laughs> so this is not at all what they said but i'm gonna try it anyway um the they do put a base down like a wet base to kind of make sure that the seasoning stick get out so in here I have some deli mustard, some regular yellow mustard, and then some Worcestershire sauce. And I just mix that up. Hey, and that's gonna be my base Give for me putting my um, my seasonings on. Which I'm kinda, well I'm not taking the lazy way out, but I'm using one of the brisket seasonings. Okay, you wanna coach salt? I'm using a brisket seasoning from um, H-E-B. So 
it has everything that I need in there and it pretty much has everything that I normally put in there anyway. So, yeah, it pretty much has every, the same stuff that I put in there when I make my own seasoning. But this is a seven pound brisket, so we gotta season it liberally. I'm just gonna put my wet base on. Hold on, let me hook y'all up. I did not cut any more of the fat off of it because it was trimmed really well. So I did not cut any more fat off of it. You want some good? Yeah, that'd be helpful actually. What just happened? Hit my toe. Dang. Mariah put gloves on when she was doing all the um, blue cookies last night. Yeah, nice Yeah. Hey, all you cool cats and cool kitties out there. Today we're making brisket. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to rub that thing with some mustard. And we rub that thing with mustard so we can make sure that all the season is going to get into that brisket skin. Because one thing that we don't want is a dry, unseasoned brisket. I'm talking about salt and pepper, y'all. And as you can see, we coated that thing till it was nice and red. I'm talking red like Georgia clay. And then that thing got rubbed in a little bit more. You see that karate chop that Anika was doing right there? We was just making sure. And then she takes the rest of that size on. And then she just coat and coat and coat. It's just making my mouth water, y'all. And then we put some more of that brisket rub on there. Quick shout out to H-E-B. H-E-B, you may not know me, but I know you. And here also everything is better. And then we ate that thing, y'all. When I tell you when that thing was just a juice. Alright, so now we have it all nice and seasoned on both sides. Mm -hmm. <coughs> mm. Mm. Yum. Alright, so we'll be back tomorrow <laughs> with the cooking process. Good morning and happy Saturday. So it is time to cook the brisket. Um, I took it out the refrigerator. It's been in the refrigerator since y'all saw me put the seasoning on it yesterday morning. So here is what we have so far. Smells amazing. Looks amazing. I want to put a little bit more of this stuff on it. And then for my... Um, so I'm going to try it like with the Texas crutch and all that stuff. I'm going to use some brown sugar and stuff for the seasoning. So normally, let me put this down. I put brown sugar in my little seasoning concoction, but I'm just since I'm just using the already mixed one. It has a little bit in there, but not like a lot and I like a little bit of sweetness. I like a little sweet heat or whatever. Um so I'm just going to throw this on there a little bit more. Ooh. And then Evan is going to set the grill up in a minute. And we'll throw this bad boy on there. Um, I forgot what I was about to say. Forgot. But anyway, yeah, we're about to go ahead and get the grill prep. And then we'll um, put it on there. There she is. No, what? Yep. Yeah. So we had to come out here and add a little more charcoal because we ran out. So we had enough to get it to like 250 or so degrees. And it's been on for how long now? We got our meat from Mama Two. Our brisket so far so now we're about to wrap it and sprinkle it with a little glaze and hopefully it turns out nice and juicy so right now it's at 178 degrees and we need it to get to 190 
Cool. So I got the sauce ready. I think the fat cap is on the other side. Just gonna brush it on. Mm -hmm. Should I like sprinkle it to try to make it a little bit more sparkle? It used like that thing. What you call that thing? Um, hold on. You ready? Want me to move? Hey, you supposed to wrap it first and then wrap the second piece? Mm -mm. He had overlapped it. Let's go back inside now and finish watching TV. Okay. And we'll catch y'all when we come back out here. <laughs> anyway, okay, so the thermometer has been very helpful. Once we got to 175, we went ahead and wrapped it in the butcher paper. And then it cooked at about, it's a little above 250. Um, it's probably at like 275, 285, the grill is. But, um, it cooked for like another hour and a half maybe two hours and so now it's 190 so we're gonna go ahead and take it off let it sit in a cooler for another like hour or so which is still early enough to where it's not time for us to eat dinner yet but um we're gonna set it in the cooler like wrap it in a towel set it in the cooler let it sit in there and like soak up all the juices that's left in there and everything um especially from the little like what's it called i forgot what they call it but the texas crutch or whatever um so i'm gonna let it sit soak that all up and then i'm gonna make the glaze for it in the meantime i'm gonna make some corn and i'm gonna go ahead and make my double eggs and then by the time like the corn and stuff is done double eggs done and it's done like sitting in the cooler it'll be time to eat so yeah real master here so this is what it's looking like in the butcher paper and with the thermometer. Moving it on in. Yeah. All right, and we actually don't have anything else to go in the grill. I don't think. Cause you already got the sausages in the smoker. Right? 
So I'm wrapping this baby up. About to let it sit. For another hour or so. And we'll see what's the hat. You didn't want to open it and like see what it looked like? Nope. <laughs> want to be surprised? Alright, we'll be back then. All right, we are back with the moment of truth. We're about to unwrap our brisket, huh? It's smoked sausage. It wasn't even put on fire. Evan is about to unwrap our briskets. So excited! He's the meat cutter, so he has to cut the meat. This little thing on. <sighs> Fly. Oh, got it. One of the disadvantages of having to open your door multiple times going in and out to check on the grill. But anyway, he's about to go ahead and cut our briskets. We already got the corn done. I cooked it in coconut milk and butter with a little bit of salt on it. So Mariah's the first one that's gonna eat because she's eating some sausage and corn and double eggs. So Hopefully she'll let me know how it tastes. I'm like really excited to see what the brisket looks like. I hope it's, I really hope it's tender. If it's not then. I need to perfect my recipe, yeah. I need to perfect my recipe by five. I need to perfect my recipe by um, 4th of July. And I did not make the glaze, like the barbecue sauce glaze. I didn't make that, so we'll see. We'll just use regular barbecue sauce. I mean, it is what it is at this point. It still feels pretty warm. So hopefully, yeah, it's definitely still warm. And so do I. Mariah over there, I already got into pajamas. Like, it is dang on 550. Look at Evan over there sharpening his knives. That's how you know it's serious. Wait, what is you cutting again? The brisket. What's that? What's that? Like? Like you sharpening your knives over my devil egg. Well, is that flat stuff you got at me? Huh? That flat stuff you got at me. Oh, they're flat with me. <laughs> All right, we're about to do this. Mmm. Oh, look at that. About what? Why does it look like? Oh, that's oh. I can't wait. That's weird. Girl, don't eat your food. It's blood. That's not blood at all. Is that water? Oh. It's the juice I put on oh, there. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Oh. Don't say that. Where? What? Okay, it looks pretty tender. Print handle. Got a little bark on them. Look at your hands. Look at your little hands out of the way. Go ahead, huh? Mm -hmm. Chicken. I just want to taste. Go grab, go grab mommy on my phone. Take a picture of it. He's been on the barbecue pit, pit master right here. <laughs> Mmm. Man, move so slow. Man, that's move so slow. He wanted you to take the picture. He's cutting. He like cut and do the little squeeze test. Is there any juices gonna come up out of there? I can't see. Okay, this is looking pretty tender here. Wow, look, there's pieces right there. Jake, don't put your fingers over there. Put a knife in there. I think we're having some brisket, I 
I'm trying to see that smoke green though. I see a little something up in there. You cutting the whole thing up? No. Okay. Okay, look at that. And it's still smoky. It is smoky smoke. Going on there. Mm. All right. What'd you say, Jay? Oh, that's a big spot, right? Mmm. That's good. Mmm. 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 You're cooking this for four dollars. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. I like that. Mmm. Oh, we about to grip, grip. Mmm. Nice and tender. Mmm. All right, y'all. It's dinner time. Mm-mm-mm. We'll be back probably tomorrow. <laughs>